everyone and welcome back to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida and today we are doing our May budget. Um, I explained in my last video that I probably wouldn't be doing Money Mondays anymore. Um, I'll just film a budget whenever I need to. Um, I just didn't want to kind of not necessarily commit to a Monday, but sometimes I just can't do it um, and have it up for you guys on a Monday. Uh, I'll see if I can do it in the future, but um, being that the first falls on a Saturday, I wanted to get uh, it up for you, like on the proper date, I guess. Um, these are some inserts I made for myself, some monthly inserts. I actually love them. Um, I just want to critique them myself, use them a little bit myself. And I think going into 2022, I may be selling them um, like a monthly budget. Now, I kind of cut these a little wonky, but let's pay that. No, never mind. So, if you're new here, I'm Anita. And I am a self-employed hairstylist. And I used to do my budget in a regular notebook until I found the beautiful world of planning. And I've been hooked. Well, I got hooked. <laughs> and now I budget in a planner. I am currently using a half letter. And this one is from Cloth and Paper. Um, most of the inserts in here I make myself. Um, a lot of them you can find on my website. The discs are from Levenger. So, let's set that aside and let's just kind of get into the nitty gritty. I didn't do a budget, a monthly budget for April. So, I wanted to make sure that I did one for May because I was a little all over the place and a little off. So, uh, let's get started. So, as I say, this is for the month of May. I'm gonna put 2021. This insert is in my financial bundle that's on my website. So for income, um, I think we went through this. I'm not going to list that. I'll do that later for my personal use, but I will definitely list my expenses. Some of my expenses for May I've already paid, which I actually paid today, which is Friday, April 30th. All my little small credit card bills are due on the first or the second, really the second. And it's so funny because all of them are community bank. So I'm gonna start with, I like to start with things that are my top budget things, which is my car notes. And I have two car notes. I pay my car note is split up. Um, I'll just go ahead and put down car note number one. Um, it's 181.60. I note number two, same thing. And then I have a uh, personal loan. And it is 96.11. Uh, my car insurance, uh, which is State Farm, and my life insurance, all that is included. Um, that This time they gave me a deal. I don't know, they switch it from month to month, but looks like for the next few months, it's gonna be like one, 47, 28. And then what I'll do is come back in and check them off and put the actual amount. Now I go into like the credit card bills. Um, Lane Bryant. And I just paid that one today. All of them were like $29. So they were $29. I just did the minimum on them this time because I have to help my daughter out this month. So I just did minimum, not doing anything extra. Um, Ulta. That, that was 29 and I'm going to go ahead and write these in because I paid all of these today and I'm just going to put a plus there um, what else did we have Wayfair well Wayfair was more it was like 40 and yeah. I was going to pay extra on that one but I said no I got some other things coming out I need to help my daughter and then I have a Victoria's Secrets. I know y'all like Yoshida. <laughs> it was 29 as well. Okay, so I paid those for today. Next I have Amazon. And I believe that is $12.99. That'll come out tomorrow the first. Oh, don't let me forget. CNP, which is cloth and paper sub box. It's just been coming out, and I got rid of the second one. I used to have two. Now I'm down to one, so I think that's thirty-six dollars. I just put thirty-six, so that'll be coming out tomorrow. These two come out on the first, 
All of these came supposed to come out on the second. Well, I paid them about the second, but I just went ahead and did them today. I just wanted to get them caught up and paid on time. Um, we have Canva, which I can't remember when they come out, and I think that is $12.99 as well. Um, instant ink. That is $20. I'm not for sure that date. And then, conference card notes. It's something I'm forgetting. Um, we got T-Mobile. Oh my God. What I intend to give them is about $250. I'll be so glad. And my daughter got a new phone. It was just, oh my God. T-Mobile, we have Apple. Um, I think that is, I have two Apple bills, but I think one is $2.99, the other one I think is like 99 cents, and then I have some more credit cards that are due like the 15th, I have Capital One, um, at one point I was kind of surviving off of my, um, credit cards, so I know it's bad, I have Capital One, we have Barclays, they are almost, Barclays and Citibank are due like the same day. And they're about the same. I'm gonna put 40 for each of these. I, would like, I normally try to do 50, but I'm not gonna push it. Right. So that looks like everything. My Shopify bill, I don't, I could put it here, but it fluctuates depending if I use them for, um, shipping. So I'm not going to put them down because I'll just put that down on one of my weekly ones or something like that. Let's do a little math and see how much everything is going to cost us here. So the total is $1,174.08. And what I'll do is I'll go back and double check. So this is what we have for the month. Now I like to use a monthly calendar to like make some notes of some things. Also put down the days that everything is due. So I have this over here on the side. I'll start with my car note. It is due on the 11th and the 20th. And I do use stickers sometimes and I'll sometimes come back and just add them. Matter of fact, let me get a few stickers. Um, I'll put these here in the place of, like I know on the 15th, that is Capital One.
anyway, this is pretty much it. Um, this month, the month of May, I'm gonna just make a note of Mother's Day because I'm gonna need to get Mother's Day cards. And it should be on here. I don't have the holidays. Now. Mother's Day, so I'm gonna have to get cards and gifts or whatever for my mom and my sister. Um, anything else I need to make a note of. Also, I want to make a note of grocery. Um, in my last video, I showed you that I made a note, note of grocery in my weekly check-in because I wanted to kind of monitor how much I'm spending on um, my healthy food just for like me. Some of the food, you know, my family eats as well, but I wanted to make a note of that. So I'm going to give myself a budget of $300 for the month, I know. Because some of the things I've gotten that could be a little cheaper, um, I've gotten a lot of frozen food, things that will last. So I'm going to try to keep it at 300 for the month. So right now, that's all I have. So you guys, right now, that's pretty much my bills for the month of May. I'm trying to get these credit cards paid off because um, I really am determined, determined to be debt free. Um, very soon. I don't want to put a time on it because um, I had planned that for 2020, but we see what happens. So, yeah. So now that is my budget. I'm just going to stick this in here so I can kind of refer back to it. But that is it. This is my budget for May. If you have any questions or anything I can help you with, please leave me a message in the comment section. I'll get back to you and I'd be happy to answer your question. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was kind of quick. It seemed like it was quick, but right now this is all that I have. And I'm kind of thankful and grateful that I can pay these things. Um, like I said, I'll fill in the dates once they come in. That kind of helps me to remember. And then I can have it for the month of June. So I'll have everything filled out. Well, pretty much everything's filled out. I may just add some little um, icon stickers for like my car note, you know, credit card. And that's something that I'm working on for new releases are... Um, little bill icons and things like that. Okay, so that was a request in my Facebook group, so I definitely want to get that up. Also, if I need to make a note of anything over here, like birthdays, and I do have a birthday coming up, but I'm not sending anything, but um, I do. I got a couple of birthdays in May. Let me just put down birthdays over here because one of my friends, like she had sent me a cash out for my birthday, so I might want to just like return a favor or whatever. So, here you are, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Again, please leave me a comment in the comment section if you have any questions. And also, have you done your May budget yet? I'm a little behind, I feel like, doing my budget. But um, it needed to be done. I want to get back into doing it monthly. I want to get back into sharing my budget with you because sharing my budget with you guys was definitely keeping me accountable. So um, we're definitely starting that back. So we'll be back to a weekly check-in. I was going to do a weekly check-in at the beginning of the week, but I was like, you know, it's time for the monthly. So I'll just save it for the monthly. And then um, next week, probably Monday, we'll be back on to uh, weekly check-ins and so probably some other planner-related content. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.